How's it going folks? I'm Des with DesFit and this is the brand new HRM Pro Plus heart rate monitor from Garmin, the update to the already quite capable original HRM Pro. So with the HRM Pro Plus, it builds upon the original with all those same capabilities like being a really reliable heart rate monitor, the ability to collect advanced running dynamics, including running power, the ability to record and store offline heart rate data for activities like swimming. You can also collect steps, intensity, minutes, and calories without you even needing to wear a watch at all. And most importantly, it's really accurate. But with the HRM Pro Plus, they've updated it so it now can provide pace and distance while running indoors on a treadmill, much like you can do with a foot pod, which can provide more accurate pace and distance than what you can get on a watch while you're running inside. But they've also redesigned the hardware, which makes it much easier to replace the batteries, all without any tools involved. So the original HRM Pro is already one of my go-to heart rate monitors when it comes to comparing against all the different watches that I test, and I can basically always rely on it as an accurate reference point. And the same thing goes for the HRM Pro Plus. It's just as accurate as the original. And it was spot on for everything that I threw at it from running to road biking to mountain biking, strength training, as well as swimming. And in short, the HRM Pro Plus is going to be in my rotation of heart rate monitors that I use as reference points for future reviews. So in terms of accuracy, we're good to go there. So the advertised battery life of the original HRM Pro, as well as the new HRM Pro Plus is right at 12 months, and that's with an estimated one hour of training per day. So in the last 20 or so months that I've had the HRM Pro, I think I've replaced the battery maybe like three times. But one of the things that was kind of a slight pain with the original HRM Pro was replacing the battery. So with the original HRM Pro, you had to have a small screwdriver to remove the screws that held the battery in place. And when replacing the coin cell battery, you had to be careful to make sure that that little rubber O-ring was situated just right, because if it wasn't, there's a chance that water could get inside of the compartment. But now with the HRM Pro Plus, they've gone away from needing tools at all. So now all you have to do is just simply turn this cover counterclockwise and boom, there's the battery and you can replace it. It's just a lot more convenient now and there's less of a chance of that O-ring getting messed up. So that's a super nice thing to see. Oh, and really quick, if you're finding the information in this video to be useful, do me a favor and just quickly hit that like button down below. It's a small little thing that you can do that'll help this video and the channel quite a bit, and I appreciate it. And in terms of features, the original HRM Pro as well as the HRM Pro Plus, well, they're much more than just external heart rate monitors, and we'll get into some of those extra special features here in just one bit, but in terms of heart rate, you can pretty much collect heart rate for any type of activity. So with running specifically, when you pair it with a compatible Garmin watch, what it'll do is provide advanced running dynamics, including running power, as well as other metrics like vertical oscillation, ground contact time and ground contact balance. And all these additional data points can help you assess your running form as well as your running efficiency. And then beyond just running, it can collect accurate heart rate for pretty much any other type of activity when you pair it with a watch or a bike computer. And it compared to both Bluetooth as well as Ant Plus devices. And it's not just Garmin devices either, basically anything that has Ant Plus or Bluetooth. And this does include stuff like indoor training platforms like Zwift that run on an iPad where you can pair Bluetooth external sensors. But then the HRM Pro Plus, as well as the original HRM Pro, it can record and store heart rate data on the strap itself. And this can be especially useful for a few different types of activities. And the first one's gonna be swimming. So with swimming, the issue there is that wireless signals don't transmit well through the water. So even if you do have an external heart rate monitor paired to your watch when you start your swim, as soon as you start swimming, it won't be transmitting that data in real time over to your watch. So that's where you need an external heart rate monitor that can store heart rate data if you want that accurate heart rate data for your entire swim session. And then what happens is that when you go to save your activity on a compatible Garmin device, it'll actually download that heart rate data from the strap and kind of merge that with your swim data like the lapse distance and so forth. But what is kind of cool about the HRM Pro Plus is that during rest periods in between intervals, if your watch and the strap are both above water so they can properly communicate with each other, you will be able to see your heart rate in real time at that moment. And you also will be able to see your average heart rate for the last interval. Now, there are a couple things to note about swimming with the HRM Pro Plus or the original HRM Pro. So you can use it for swimming both in open water as well as pool swimming, but they only recommend it for occasional pool swimming. And the reason for this is that the HRM Pro Plus and the HRM Pro, it's not built like the HRM Swim heart rate strap that's designed to withstand all the chemicals that are present with swimming in a pool. I basically swam with the original HRM Pro maybe about like four to five times a month in a pool and I didn't have any issues with it, but if you are gonna be swimming more than that, you may wanna just go for the HRM Swim. The other thing to keep in mind with the HRM Pro Plus versus the HRM Swim is that you can see that the HRM Pro Plus is much slimmer than the HRM Swim, which makes it much more comfortable for stuff like running, cycling, and weight training, but because it is thinner, it actually may flip over with hard pushes off the wall. And I've even had these flip over during breaststroke, so if you are using the HRM Pro Plus or the original HRM Pro for swimming, it's probably best to wear them under a wetsuit. Now, the other use case here for the offline heart rate storage is for activities where you don't want to or maybe can't wear a watch like team sports or martial arts or something like that. And again, there's a couple ways to do this. 
So the first of which is very much like swimming, where you just go ahead and start the activity of choice on your compatible watch, then you just place your watch off to the side, and then you just go out and do your activity. And you don't have to be in wireless range of your watch, by the way, since it's storing the heart rate data on the strap itself. And then when you're done with your activity, you just get back to your watch, go to save your activity, and what it'll do is then download the heart rate data from the strap and sync that with your activity. But if you don't want to manually start an activity on your watch, you don't have to, and you can actually still get all the data from your strap and sync it over to Garmin Connect for all your daily stats. So an additional feature of the HRM Pro Plus is that it can also pair directly to the Garmin Connect app. And when you do this, you can just put on the HRM Pro Plus, do your activity without having to do anything else. And then when you're done, you just open up the Garmin Connect app and it'll download your heart rate data to this app, which will in turn then give you credit for not only your heart rate, but also the calories burned and intensity minutes for when you are wearing the strap. But not only that, the HRM Pro Plus can also capture steps. So again, this is something where you can get credit for steps along with your heart rate and subsequent calories burned without you having to wear a watch at all. So like on this day, I just took off all my watches and I was wearing the HRM Pro Plus while I was just doing things around the house and then also a workout after the fact. And you can see that this data collected, it just gave me credit for all my steps, heart rate, and subsequent calories burned doing all the activities throughout the day. Oh, and then in regards to how much data that the strap can store itself, it can store up to 18 hours of activity data on the strap. And lastly, the other new feature with the HRM Pro Plus is that it can now provide pace and distance from the strap itself for indoor running, which can aid in more accurate indoor running distances, whether you're running on a treadmill or a track. Now, you may already be thinking, well, my Garmin watch already does provide pace and distance while running indoors, and you're absolutely right, it does, but the accuracy can vary from individual to individual, so that's where external accessories like foot pods come into play, where those can provide, in general, more accurate results than what you can get on the wrist. And in terms of the accuracy of the pace and distance while running indoors, well, they first recommend that you go run outside with it for a couple hours at some varying speeds, just so the strap can kind of learn your running dynamics and then kind of pair that with the speed and distance that being provided by GPS. And at that point, it should provide some fairly accurate indoor pace and distance. So like on this run here, after the proper calibration, I got quite good results compared to a stride foot pod, which was right in line with the speed reflected on the treadmill. So you can see here that I gradually increased my pace as the run went on. So starting right around an 8.30 minute pace and then increasing every mile or so. You can see, however, at the end of the run where I was right around a 6.45 minute pace where it started to underreport the speed just a little bit, but for the most part, I think it did a pretty good job. When we compare this data being collected from a watch, there's these moments where the pace drops out. And what you may notice is that most of these are are literally at the spots where I was increasing the speed on the treadmill where my arm wasn't moving, which is why we see these dropouts. And then the other little dropouts is where I think I was wiping sweat off my head or something like that. So it's kind of interesting to see the comparison though. In general, I actually do get pretty accurate pace and distance on the wrist for most Garmin devices, but I have seen some drift over longer periods of time if I haven't gone on a run outside. So unlike a lot of consecutive runs, like during the winter months, I can see the accuracy drift a little bit. So I'm hoping that this can solve that issue. But in addition to being able to provide more accurate pace and distance for running indoors, you can also use it in conjunction with a running app like something like Zwift, so you can use that data in the app. Anyhow, that's everything new with Garmin's HRM Pro Plus Chest Heart Rate Strap. And if you have any questions about anything I didn't cover in this video, make sure to leave those in the comments section down below. And if the information in this video did help you out at all, don't be shy about hitting that like button and also subscribing to the channel for plenty more sports tech videos that are right around the corner. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.